Finnair and Finavia invited us to Finland to learn more about their winter operations, from checking out snow vehicles to flying a full motion flight simulator in snowy conditions. Wait, not that one, this one. Then followed by a trip to Ivalo, Finland's northernmost airport for a winter ops demo in the Arctic Circle. So we're on the bus, private bus, going to look at some cool snow equipment. So here we are, welcome to the Finnair Snow Howl video where we're going to take a look at the winter operations here at Helsinki Airport and up in the Arctic Circle in Ivalo. Today, obviously right now, day one, we're here in Helsinki taking a look at the vehicles that are used to keep the airport alive when the conditions are extreme. And behind me are a bunch of vehicles that are three million times the size of me and really interesting to hear about. So let's go and learn some more about them. Um, my name is Pyrrö Pennanen. I'm the head of airfield maintenance and this is our airfield maintenance center. Uh, welcome to Helsinki Airport. We've made a little presentation for you guys. A few, few of our key ingredients for, for the Finnish snow how is obviously here. My name Pyrrö, in English it actually stands for uh, winter blizzard. Or snowstorm, so I'm, I'm very well equipped, yeah. But yeah, these are, well, excluding the tractor, these two are our most important vehicles, I think, in, in Finnish know-how. Uh, the, the latter one, the PSB, that's that's the one we we plow the snow from our runways. If, or we can go closer, if you like. We can plow snow uh, five and a half meters wide. We have about 20 of these in our garages at the moment. Very capable machines built by a Finnish company here in Finland, in fact. When we plow snow at the runways, we use 10 of these side by side. So they're like right after, uh, below, uh, sorry, next to and behind the next one. So 10 of these, when, when it's five and a half meter working with that, you know, in total, that's roughly 50 to 55 meters of snow being, being cleared from side to side. And it takes us about 11 to 13 minutes, depending on the length of the runway, to make a single operation and sweep the entire thing clear in one single operation. Whenever the, the, the elements change considerably on a the runway, then we have to take action. That, that can be from one to three millimeters. Oh, wow. Then we have to take action already. And usually the, the the circumstances on the surface of the runway dictate our everything on, on the apron levels and so on. So that's our, always our priority number one, the runways, and then the taxiways serving those runways, and then taxiways on the apron, and then, and then third, the, the apron areas themselves. So we have sensors embedded on the runway which give us uh, the, the surface information, the temperature of the surface. They can tell us if it's freezing or not freezing. They actually, so the sensors can actually even melt ice and tell us what the actual freezing point is. And then when we apply de-icers on, on top of it, we, we, so we use chemicals to drive the freezing point down, then we just simply look at these two figures and when they're on a crossing path, we know it's time to add more chemicals again. And it's a constant. We basically promise summer-like summer conditions on our runways year-round and in Helsinki winter is a very real thing. Not perhaps at the moment, but, but in general. So it's, it's a really something that we have to be in mind of all the time. But anyway, yeah, so this is a snowblower, uh, and I guarantee you this is the biggest one in the entire country. It has 1,500 horsepower, so it's mighty powerful. Wow. It can hurl snow, it, it actually, the, it's, it's behind the cockpit, so this, uh, in front, it's just uh, crushes snowbanks, maybe in English. <laughs> uh, and, and then it just it throws snow as much as 50 meters sideways, so say, say 30 to 50 meters sideways. So if you could imagine this, Plowing snow next to your house on your own yard, probably over the over, over the, the next house, house over. <laughs> the warning sticker is probably the most uh, interesting one I've seen. <laughs> Here's a look inside of the high-powered snowblower, which is a very specialized piece of equipment that only a few people are licensed to operate. Would you drive something like this? Let us know in the comments. Now that we've checked out the snow equipment, let's head over to Finnair's Flight Academy to have a go at flying one of these very expensive and enormous full-motion flight simulators. Okay, welcome to Finnair Flight Academy, where we train all our, our cabin crew and pilots. 
and also welcome to our 350 simulator. Now we can go inside. When we start the operation, the legs will raise the simulator up and that will uh, bank or tilt to uh, produce the illusion of, of movement by, by your sensory sensories in your ear. And together with the, with the visual view, uh, you create quite a realistic impression of movement, banking and actually flight. Okay, let's do it. Okay, here we go then. Inside the A350, check this out. Alright, it's my turn. Lights, camera, action. See if I can land successfully. Now obviously this is a snow themed trip, so rather than flying in nice sunny conditions, we're getting the real deal by simulating this short flight in the snow to get a good understanding of how things look from a pilot's perspective. These simulators are of course study level training grade sims that are used to train pilots for the real thing, and pilots will also undergo recurrent training in these simulators. This simulator will respond to my control inputs and physically move around to make it feel like we're actually flying. In this short session, I'll be flying a quick right-hand circuit at Helsinki Airport from and to runway 22 right. Here we go then, let's take off. 100 knots. 100 knots. Great. You have your hands are in great position. V1. Rotate. Okay. Nicely done. Wow, you really feel it. Yeah. And now we can reduce the thrust. T to climb. To climb, yes, that is good. And then we will turn towards the downwind. So I will select the heading to uh, heading 030. And this is still manual? St uh, still manual, you are flying. Okay, wicked. Auto thrust is on, that uh, handles the speed. Now we have 250 knots. Yep. And uh, now you, you just fly. Cool. <laughs> This was my first time flying a full motion sim like this and believe me when I say it's crazy how accurate the movements feel. So the next time you're on an aircraft and you feel a bump or the g-forces, just know that you really do get that exact same feeling from these full motion sims. Which is crazy because in the grand scheme of things, the sim isn't really moving that much. So the illusion created by the movement of the sim and the visuals in the cockpit is really impressive. You even feel every bump of turbulence. Now we have turbulence. Mati did something. <laughs> After manually flying the full circuit, it was time to turn final and land the aircraft on runway 22 right. And to make it a little trickier, the instructors threw in 15 knots of crosswind and some gusts. Now it's time to see if I can land like a thin air pilot in the snow. Right, time to put my flight simming skills to the test now. Okay. <laughs> and uh, now we would say uh, a landing checklist, and I would say landing checklist complete. Okay. Everything is done. Everything's ready to go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's do this. Very smooth flying. Thank you. Accurate, smooth. Everything is in right position. We have 15 knots crosswind from the right. 100 above. Now we make the continued decision. Minimum. <coughs> Goes, goes like a train on the rails. Yeah. Now look far away. 50, 40, 30, 20, very, retard. Uh, really nice. Nice. Now with your release the stick and steer with your feet. And then we will uh, select the reverse thrust. That's great. Now we oh. have idle reverse. And now you may start to brake with your feet. I did it. Nice. <laughs> it was really nice landing. Thank you very okay. much. Well, there we go. That was my attempt at the Finnair A350. Let us know what you think of my landing in the comments. On that note, with the simulator out of the way, it's time to go to Lapland. En route to Lapland, Finnair also invited us to check out their lounges at Helsinki Airport, which are very nice, with lots of quiet spaces, plenty of blueberry juice, of course, and great views.
Welcome to Ivalo, a net zero airport inside of the Arctic Circle where Finavia put on a show for us with their snow vehicles to show off their capabilities. There's about seven months of snow here on average, so these vehicles are super important to keep in not only this airport, but all of the other airports in Finland up and running during extreme conditions. From left to right, here are some of the vehicles used to keep this airport up and running during extreme conditions. There's two brush blower units to plow, brush and blow the snow off of the taxiway and the runway, a vault retractor with a snow blower, a road maintenance tractor, a wheel loader with a snow plow, a high powered snow blower which is the thing we took a look at and got inside of back at Helsinki airport, and a car. They do also have friction testers and chemical spreaders too, though these ones weren't displayed. So there you go, behind me is a full lineup of the vehicles that are used to keep Ivalo Airport up and running when the weather is well exactly like this. This is the perfect example of when vehicles and special equipment like this is needed. My hands are very cold, they're about to fall off so I'm going to go ahead and get back inside of the minivan. As a final bonus to this video, we even got to go up the control tower to get a good view of the airport completely covered in snow. Huge thanks to Finnair and Finavia for inviting us to Finland for the SnowHow experience. That said, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more content like this. It's been Dan from Infinite Flight, see you in the next one.